Welcome to another RSR. Today, we are predicting both the 2024 CONCACAF Nations League Finals Tournament and the CONCACAF Copa America Repechaje that are both being played this week, weekend, so to speak, from Thursday to Sunday. Of course, we will predict the semifinals of the Nations League first, then the Repechaje ties that will play on Saturday, then, of course, the Sunday third place and final. Because we're going, of course, in chronological order. So, Prediccione de la Liga de Nations de CONCACAF finales y repechaje de la Copa América. Let's start. First off, we got USA versus Jamaica in this first semifinal. Last night, I said I liked the belief from Jaime Hall Grimson that they could beat the USA. Then you see all these players that Jamaica's losing, and Mikel Antonio just pulled out of the squad. It's going to be a tough sledding for Jamaica here. With all the players that they lost, Losing Mikhail Antonio, they may believe in themselves, but hate to tell you, I think things are starting to turn in my estimation. The USA have most of their players ready to go. They have a good team. They have a team that is good on paper. They did just lose to Trinidad in their last big competitive match down in Trinidad, even though on aggregate they still got through. But here's the problem for me. Jamaica losing all their players plus Mikel Antonio, it's going to be tough. I believe in Jamaica. I want them to win this, but I said 2-1 last night. That's before Mikel Antonio pulled out. I don't know where the goals are going to come from. At least completely, I don't know where the goals are going to come from. I don't think any of us know where the goals are going to come from for Jamaica. And that's a problem. That's a problem that we don't know where the goals are going to come from. They may defend well. Andre Blake may be back to his old Jamaican form instead of his Philadelphia form of recent times. But to me... It's hard for me to say Jamaica wins. I want them to. It's hard for me to say it now when you lose another big player. That might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. The USA does have a good team on paper. They got their squad ready. Burhalter's won this trophy before. I think as of now, I hate to do this, change my prediction from yesterday. But again, I think we have a situation where the straw broke the camel's back. One more straw broke the camel's back. And that's going to make me say 2-1 to one USA. I think Jamaica's going to fight hard. I just don't see where the goals come from. And I don't see a complete and absolute... What's the word? Fail by the USA here in this case. So I got the USA going through even though I want Jamaica to win. Next up, Mexico versus Panama. I like Panama's 11. I really do. I like Panama's squad. I really do. I think Christensen's a great manager. I like Panama's squad. Here's the problem. Mexico under Jimmy Lozano is starting to get on the right track if they let Jimmy cook. They got Quinones. Yes, it was tough for them against Honduras, but they got through it. To me personally, the only thing I see here. I, well, not the only thing I see. It's going to be a tough match. It's not going to be a walkover by any stretch of the imagination. Let's remember in the third place match last year of the Nations League, Mexico won 3-0, still with Colca. He didn't get fired yet till after a tournament. They won the Gold Cup Final 1-0. This group of Mexican players is their true A team. Panama had their A team. I think Mexico's only gotten better, at least more cohesive, especially with Quinones. So I got Mexico winning 2-1, to 2-1 one. to one in the semifinal. We get a USA-Mexico final, a Jamaica-Panama third place match. But before we predict those, we have to jump into the repechaje for Copa America, Copa America repechaje matches. 
The final two spots to be qualified, fought over. First off, we got Canada versus Trinidad and Tobago. I think this game's going to have goals. No question. I think Canada could score goals. I think Trinidad can make that Canadian defense pay. With that being said, I think this game, Canada does win in the end over 90 minutes. I think they get the goals they need. Is it going to be comfortable? No. Is Canada going to do some dumb things in this match? Oh, yes. Especially with no Zach McGraw with Kamal Miller. Yeah, no. It's, it's going to be bad because they're probably going to play Cornelius, and he's a calamity at the back. Him and Miller don't work together. So I, I can tell you this. I think... I do think Crepeau or Sawa will play well in goal. I think that's probably going to be something that saves us, even if our center backs are a calamity or one center back is a calamity. So, for me personally, I do think Canada will win. Trinidad will take freaking pounds of flesh, but I don't think the Appalachian State of CONCACAF will win on Saturday I think Canada gets it done 3-2. to two. So Canada will go to the Copa America. I think so. Copa America. I think so. Finally, we got Costa Rica versus Honduras. Costa Rica's starting to uh, reload and refresh way too late and during a qualifying segment. I don't think that's too smart. I don't think that's too smart. Honduras is playing well right now under Rueda. I don't see anything else but a walkover for Honduras here. 3-1, 3-0 Honduras in this matchup. That's what I see. Costa Rica, as in a qualifying tie, is going to reload and rebuild, start their rebuild, and their de-aging. Not a smart decision. Could have done that about six months ago. So, yeah, Honduras playing well. I think they're going to win. So, we got Canada and Honduras taking the last two spots in Copa America. Let's move to the third place and final of the CONCACAF Nations League. Third place, we got Jamaica versus Panama. Right now, they will get back Damari Gray. They will get back Shamar. I think Jamaica's going to have some to prove after the semifinals. I think we're going to get a penalty shootout in this third place match. I think it's still straight to penalties after 90 during the third place. I still think it's that way. I think Jamaica, it's 2-2, and they win on penalties. I think Jamaica will win on penalties over Panama because you know what? I think they have something to prove. And yeah, they're going to have to fight for it, but I think they have something to prove to get that bronze medal. I think Jamaica does it on penalties after drawing 2-2 after 90. Finally, the Nations League final. For the third straight Nations League, at some point in the tournament, we got the U.S. playing Mexico and for the second of third finals. I Again, the USA's got a good squad. Mexico, they still got stuff to work on. They still got things to do. They still got ways to get better. USA are still the favorites here. I'm not saying it's going to be as embarrassing as the 2023 semifinal. I'm not going to say it's going to be it's going to be a crazy match, but it's not going to be as a big shock wave as 2021 either. But I think the USA wins two to one. Late goal, Balogun becomes a hero probably because you know what? It's been coming for him. He's got to be a hero, and I think he will be a hero very soon for the USA. 2-1 win in the Nations League final through Balogun. Mexico, they're going to fight hard. There's going to be some crazy moments. 1-1 for most of the match. And it could go to extra time. Could be a 119 Balogun goal. But I think somebody like Balogun will score a late winner. 
to have the U.S. go three-peat in the Nations League over Mexico. The United States will win the CONCACAF Nations League, which means the United States wins for a three-peat. They will be first place. Mexico in second place. Third place, Jamaica. Fourth place, Panama. And I guess you could say fifth and sixth place is Canada and Honduras because that's sort of what the repechaje means anyway. So, with that being said... There you go. There's my predictions for the Nations League and the Copa America qualifier, Repechaje. We will see how these start to play out tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Of course, we got some World Cup qualifiers on Friday, so let's enjoy that as well. I'll see you. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, you know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, once subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us in playlist, share with friends and family, all that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for both a live watch along, a live watch along of USA versus Jamaica, and a live watch along and review of Mexico versus Panama. Of course, on Friday, we'll be live for both qualifiers, first legs. We will review the USVI versus British Virgin Islands game. Saturday, we will be live for Canada versus Trinidad. We will review that game. Then we will be back live for a double for Toronto FC versus Atlanta United and Costa Rica versus Honduras. We will review the Toronto match. Because let's be honest, unless something crazy happens, I'm only going to do a single review. Because let's be honest. There's nothing probably for really me to say about Honduras, Costa Rica, if it goes the way I think it does. I don't think it's going to go crazy, so there you go. Then, of course, Monday we might be on, depending on what there is. I'll check the schedule. Still open as of now. We'll see. Tuesday, of course, we got the second legs of the World Cup qualifiers. Oh, Sunday. Almost forgot. Sunday, Nations League third place live. Nations League final live and review, of course. Monday we're off as of now. Still an open day. Could be. Maybe not be an open day by the time we get there. And then, of course, on Tuesday, we got the second legs of the World Cup qualifiers. Live, of course, two lives, one RSR. We'll see how those end, and there you go. With that being said, I'm Ryan, and I'm out. Peace. See you later.